Hello and welcome to In Our Schools. I'm Katrina Heeman. We're introducing a new segment to In Our Schools where we will look at the curriculum and show you what your child will learn in math at the middle school level. You will notice a definite change in the instruction. Students are more engaged with hands-on learning activities and really enjoy math. Today we will visit a 7th grade advanced math classroom at Hoover Middle School to see how students are engaging and developing deep conceptual understandings of math procedures. The students are engaged in activities that follow the recommendations set by Iowa Corps Mathematics. The Iowa Corps emphasizes teaching for understanding. The Iowa Corps standards stress that mathematical understanding and procedural skills are equally important. The Waterloo Math Curriculum is aligned with the Iowa Corps and is built around instructional tasks focused on important mathematics that apply to everyday life. Students learn in an environment that stresses making sense of mathematics. They learn math content and develop fluency and skill that is well grounded in meaning. Problem-based instructional tasks are at the heart of teaching for understanding. Today, students are engaged in a problem-based lesson that applies the strategies they have learned in the unit looking for Pythagoras to find the distance between two points. In a typical lesson, you will see, students are actively involved in all aspects of the lesson, Students use concrete, mathematical, manipulative objects strategically and models to represent ideas as a natural part of instruction. Students solve problems and work on extended problems as their primary purpose in math. Students record and reflect their thinking in math journals, logs, or recording papers. Students can find more than one way to solve a problem and can explain and justify strategies used. Students are assessed with formal and informal assessments and students demonstrate and explain their thinking and ask questions of their peers and their teacher. Students are expected to develop conceptual understanding of common mathematical practices such as the Pythagorean theorem because they need to know how to find the distance between two points, how to find the length of something without directly measuring it, what rational and irrational numbers are, and understand slope relationships of perpendicular and parallel lines. When students understand mathematics, they are more flexible in their estimation. They are more fluent with everyday math skills, and they can apply that understanding as new mathematical ideas arise. Students will learn these concepts by using models to explore ideas and explain their thinking. In seventh grade advanced math, using Pythagorean theorem gives the students the ability to solve geometric and algebraic problems. It is very easy for parents to help their children to continue learning at home. You can help with your children's homework by asking questions such as, do you need to find the distance between two points? How are square roots and areas of squares related? How can I estimate the square root of a number? How can I know the length of something without directly measuring it? We know that students need to understand mathematical ideas in different ways. Teachers assess student learning by watching them work and recording what they see students do or how they explain their thinking. Students complete individual written assessments and explain their ideas. Since all of the concepts are connected, they are revisited throughout the year. Today was a great example of how 7th grade advanced math students are engaged in learning in the classroom and how hands-on activities really benefit the students' learning of math concepts. Please stay tuned or visit our district website for other programs as we continue to demonstrate what you can expect students in middle school to learn in math.